What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and today we're going to be doing one of the more favorite videos that I think I get to do, which is talking about all the dope things that are in Hell Let Loose. Now, if you're not aware of what Hell Let Loose is, you really should, because if you're a fan of Squad, Project Reality, Red Orchestra 2, or God knows all of the billion of other tactical World War II slash anything else even remotely tactical related games, then you should definitely be interested in Hell Let Loose. Hell Let Loose is a very similar project to Squad, except that it is set in World War II, and it has a completely new game mode built from the ground up, reminiscent of the Company of Heroes real-time strategy series. Now, there's a lot of things that have been shown about the game, screenshots, uh, more screenshots, but not very many people have really delved into what are the actual confirmed features in the game. And of course, the developers have made many statements on the different things that are in the game, but nobody ever listens to the developers because everybody just likes looking at screenshots. So this video is going to be dedicated to telling everybody all the answers to your specific questions of what is going to be in Hell Let Loose specifically. Now, before we continue, if you are interested in watching raw, uncut videos of our community playing this game, make sure you go over and make an account on our website where we have created a video platform that YouTube cannot demonetize or strike because, oh god, World War II content is, for whatever reason, very much hated by YouTube. They love demonetizing and shutting down anything World War II reenactment related. So if you want to go check that out, make sure you do. And hey, if you want to also subscribe to my second channel uh, and follow me on Spotify, then you can do so as well. So, without further ado, here we go. Question number one, when is Hell Let Loose going to be released? Well, as all games nowadays, there is going to be an alpha, there is going to be an early access beta, and then there is going to be the full release. Now, luckily for everyone here, the alpha is going to be taking place in early 2018, first quarter, so anywhere between January and, if my memory of months serve me correct, um, March-ish, right? That's 12 divided by 4, yeah? Something around those lines. And the full release is going to be likely somewhere in the summer, if not further, but... As with everything nowadays, who knows for sure you can't put a deadline on a good polished game. So hopefully they'll take as long as it needs to be taken. But definitely soon, early 2018, with a full release in the middle of 2018, slash late 2018. Next question. And this is obviously a question that uh, I am interested in a lot. Is Hell Let Loose going to have in-game voice communications? And yes, dear sir, it will. And it will have voice communications at all of the levels that we want. There will be squad-based communications, command-based communications, and, as we all love the most, proximity-based communications. This means you can walk up to somebody, talk to them, walk away, talk to somebody else in a very... You guys know what proximity voice chat is. If you don't know what proximity voice chat is, I don't know why you're watching this video, because hopefully everybody who is watching this video has played Squad or Project Reality. Proximity voice chat, it's going to be in Hell Let Loose. Next question. Is there going to be close air support aircraft and airstrikes in the game? Technical answer to that question, yes. Long answer to that question, Yes, but you can't pilot the aircraft. The aircraft are going to be able to be called in by ground forces using resources from that team, which makes a lot of sense because Hell Let Loose is going to be a detailed simulation of infantry and armored combat. So since this isn't the largest team in the world, I think it makes a considerable amount of sense to focus on those things and then get them right and then hopefully in the future expand into properly pilotable aircraft 
etc as the studio grows which makes a lot of sense there's been a lot of studios and a lot of games in the past that have promised a lot of things and i think one of the nice things about hell let loose is they don't promise things that they are not absolutely sure they can accomplish and having something like fully pilotable aircraft in the game would potentially detract from the polish and the functionality of the armored vehicles and the ground combat, which I would very much like to get right. Next question, will there be the ability to blow off people's limbs in the game? Now, this was actually a stretch goal on the Kickstarter, and while it was not reached in the Kickstarter, all of those stretch goals are being continued on the website where you can continue to back Hell Let Loose. And as of the making of this video, it is very much looking like dismemberment is going to be a stretch goal that will be met. So, that sounds... that So, so yes. Yes. Technical answer, yes. Long answer, yes. Unless, I mean, unless... Unless they literally make nothing past what they are making right now, because if I remember correctly, the dismemberment stretch goal was immediately after whatever the last stretch goal they just reached. So it, it's it's gonna it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Next question: Will there be suppression mechanics similar to Brothers in Arms and other World War II games? in Hell Let Loose? And the answer to that is a resounding yes. In fact, Hell Let Loose is probably going to have extreme suppression mechanics. Uh, now, the details of those suppression mechanics, I have yet to unearth. I am sure they are somewhere. But the words from the mouths of the developers is that we are going to be implementing pretty brutal suppression tactics to a degree that will match or exceed Red Orchestra 2, and Project Reality. And taking that into consideration, that means it's going to be pretty extensive suppression mechanics. So I, I, I'm i sure whatever game you have played in the past where you enjoyed the suppression mechanics there, you are going to enjoy the suppression mechanics here because they are going to be equal to more than what those games had. Okay, next question. Now... Is there going to be a health and triage system for the wounded in Hell Let Loose, or is it just a one-and-done-you-get-shot-and-die kind of mechanic? And the answer to that is also a resounding yes. There is going to be a wounded triage revival system, very similar to Squad, very similar to Project Reality. After all, this is a strongly Squad-inspired World War II game. So, as it has been explained, there are going to be three tiers of this wounding slash triage system. The first tier is wounded. When a player becomes wounded, they begin to bleed out. They can patch themselves. If they do not patch themselves, they can bleed out and become the second tier, which is incapacitated. An incapacitated player does not have the ability to move, and a medic can apply morphine in order to bring the soldier back into a wounded state from which he can furthermore be bandaged and have the bleeding stopped and potentially be put back into action. Again, very similar to Squad. And then, of course, the last tier of the triage system is you're dead. And when you're dead, you're you're dead. I don't I don't think I have to explain that. Okay, next question. Is there going to be base building and forward outpost building, super fobs, etc. in Hell Let Loose? Yes, sir. There is going to be all of those things. Now, the way this is going to work is that the players will have bases, they will have garrisons, and they will have observation posts, or as I interpret this, as a heavily Project Reality biased player, you will have a main base, a FOB, and a rally point. Now, the differences between Project Reality and this 
have yet to be explained, at least to me, in depth, but you will be able to place down things like sandbags, tank traps, other things very similar to how you would place them down in Squad or Project Reality. Hopefully more similar to Project Reality than Squad, because quite frankly, I am not a fan of Squad's base building mechanics. It is kind of fun from like a, you know, Lego standpoint, where you, but, but it, it's kind of not the focus of the game for me. I very much enjoyed Project Reality's base building mechanics. It focused much more on the tactics and much more on the combat than on the minute details of playing Lego with your sandbags. So hopefully it's going to be more like that than the other. But yes, there will be base building in Hell Let Loose. Now, that is all of the first round of questions that I have seen that are most asked about this game. If you have any more questions about Hell Let Loose, make sure you leave them down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoy these videos, make sure you click the bell so you get notifications whenever we start live streams. Honestly, the way YouTube has changed everything, if you do not hit the notification bell, then you're basically not subscribed, which is a terrible thing. And then, of course, if you want to go check out our website for more videos that we are going to be posting about Hell Let Loose in a place that will not be demonetized and where we can also organize our community events that are going to be taking place on the server that we are inevitably going to be hosting for this game, make sure you go check that out as well. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I guess I will see you next time, and I love you. Bye.